Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a reveal, specifically a Chanel bag reveal. I'm so excited to show you what I got because it's a bag that's been on my wish list for two years and even better, I got it for 46% off retail price. So for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Mel, thanks for clicking on my video. If you are into bags or shoes or anything luxury, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and it's really easy, you just gotta click that red button and if you wanna be notified each time I upload, don't forget to click that bell because it will notify you. So let's go straight into the unboxing. So I haven't done a Chanel reveal in a while, so I'm really excited to add this to my collection. And it comes in this box. So let me open it up. Camellia and the ribbon to reveal. Whoopsie, let me just open this up. the box and this is the bag in question and I'm just going to reveal it and then I'm going to talk so it comes in this dust bag here to reveal you can see it peeking through and this is my gorgeous iconic Chanel reissue bag in size medium or the 226 with ruthenium hardware isn't this bag such a beauty? Oh my goodness, I have wanted this bag for about two years now. And in my most recent uh, wish list video, if you haven't seen that, I will link it above. But basically, in that video, I said I was after this bag, but I wanted to purchase it pre loved. And that is exactly what I did. I found one in exceptional condition, but the best thing is I found it at such a good price. So I know the first question you're going to ask me is, Mel, where did you get it from? I got it from a Melbourne consignment store called Timeless Vogue. The owner of that store is Sandy. She is absolutely lovely, so sweet so professional and so easy to deal with. For those of you that haven't followed my Instagram, this is my Instagram name here below. For those of you that do, you would have known that last year I did a Chanel giveaway with her. So I know her, I trust her, and she has got some amazing bags in fabulous condition. She sells mainly Chanel, but Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and other brands from time to time. But definitely, she has got such a good range of Chanel bags. And second question, Mel, what did you buy this for? I got this bag for 4,350 Australian dollars, and that is almost 50% off current retail price. As you know, Chanel bags keep going up and up in price. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to go the pre-loved route because, you know, 8,070 Australian dollars is the current retail price for this bag. And for me, getting it at 4,350, that is, I worked out 46% off. Like, I don't know about you, but I think that is a whopping saving. And Timeless Vogue, Sandy, if you guys haven't checked her out, you need to go check out her Instagram. I will leave it in the description bar below. She gets so many amazing Chanel bags, especially, and at really good deals. This particular one, I got an exceptionally good deal because it is a older series bag, and it is actually a 13 series, which means it is about eight to nine years old because it's from 2009 to 2010. And for those of you wondering about Chanel series numbers, it's really easy. Just go into Google and Google, you know, Chanel series numbers, and it will tell you, like at the moment, we're at 25 series. Uh, so it just goes back year by year, and then it'll tell you what that corresponds to. But she often does get reissues in and they're still really good prices. I think they range, depending how old they are, anywhere from like 4,300 up to like five or 5,000 or above if it's a more recent series. 
But either way, even if it's like five thousand over five thousand dollars, you're still saving like three thousand off retail, and that is another bag in itself. So for those of you that are perhaps looking for a reissue, I think pre-loved is a great route to go because you'll save yourself a couple of thousand dollars, if not more. So let me tell you a little bit about this bag for those of you that may not be familiar with the reissue, but I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with it. I actually did a very in-depth comparison. Perhaps some of you are looking to purchase your first Chanel bag and you're not sure, should I go for the classic flap? The classic flap is the one, you know, with the CC logo, or should I go for this reissue bag? And if you were interested in checking that video up, I will link it above, but it is a direct side-by-side -side comparison, reissue versus classic flap. So the reissue comes in four sizes. So it is the mini, which we call the 224, the small, 225. Actually, I have the small here to show you. This is my other reissue bag, and this is one I bought in 2006. Uh, during my trip to Europe. I love this bag and I've mentioned this bag. This is one of my forever bags. If you haven't checked forever pieces in my collection or the pieces that I think I will keep forever, I will link that above as well. But this baby made the cut. I love, love this bag. So if you want to see a size comparison, that is the size comparison. So that is called the small or 225. This is the medium, which is the 226. And then there is another size called the 227. And there used to be a size called the 228. It was massive, but that's discontinued. And in relation to the classic fab, just to give you a size comparison, this sits in between the jumbo. So it's smaller than the jumbo, but it's bigger than the medium large. So I think this is a great size bag. I love the smaller size as well, but there's definitely room for this bag as well. Honestly, the condition of this bag is excellent. The only fault in this bag, and it's going to be hard to see, the turn lock here, the metal work here, it does have a little bit of loss of color and it's going to be really, really hard to see, even if I zoom up on that a little bit. But it is not that obvious. One thing with reissue bags, and especially the ones that are in gold, over time, um, I have heard, my gold one's been okay so far, but the more you use it, this it's sort of notorious that it can wear off. And so there is a little bit of wear up the top, but other than that, it's not a problem. So this bag here is a double flap, like the classic flap and it's got the beautiful burgundy interior and this was great because it came with everything like I just was so happy with the condition of this bag as I said it's you can see it is a 13 series even if this bag is eight to nine years old this to me just shows how well the reissue holds up in terms of the leather, this is in a distressed calfskin, so it is super durable. You know, some people don't like all these sort of like wrinkles and lines through it. Personally, I love it. I love that sort of vintage vibe it has. And I kind of love that all the Rishi bags, they're all kind of different. The structure is still really good. There is nowhere to the corners. And by the way, guys, if you find if you do buy one in store new, it does come packed pretty flat. So it is supposed to have this saggy bottom. I go into so much more detail. So if you really want a lot of detail, go check out my comparison video. But this won't be like a big review on this bag. I'm just telling you some of the features. So yes, it is supposed to have a saggy bottom. Some people do like to stuff it and they want it flat, but personally I like it saggy and I like that when you wear it, it sort of sits close to the body. Really, really quickly, um, this is the Mademoiselle lock and it's called the Mademoiselle lock because uh, Coco Chanel never married. And this bag here, guys, what is the most iconic thing about the whole reissue bag is that it is the original design that Gabrielle Chanel created and she was just such a visionary like 
As much as I love Chanel bags, this bag is iconic. This changed the way in women wore handbags. I mean, it used to be back in like the 1920s and everything, everything used to just be clutches. So Gabrielle Chanel designed this bag for practicality because she wanted that women would be able to hang bags on their shoulder besides just always, you know, having to have it at the crook of their arm or something handheld. And it's called the 2.55 because it was created in February of 1955. So there's just so much aspects of this bag that I love from you know this mademoiselle lock to the chain detailing which is so intricate and so beautiful and it is called the Bujou chain I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong but that translates to jewelry in French and Coco Chanel was a big jewelry lover so she wanted the chains on the bag to look like a necklace and also it is inspired because she was an orphan and uh, the nuns in the convent used to wear their keys on their waist and the chain sort of looked like that so that is where the inspiration of the chains come from. And also because at the orphanage, uh, the uniform color, I'm sure you guys have heard this story over before, but it was in the beautiful burgundy color. That's why the lining is in this burgundy color. Plus, she's so clever and smart. She wanted to make a contrast color because she knows it would be easier to find things in your bag. So guys, I mean, that's just a snapshot of the history. You could just read up on this bag. There's just so much more about it. In my opinion, this bag is as iconic as it can get. It. and it just means so much because I just can't believe this bag sort of revolutionized the whole handbag industry. You know what? You don't have to just wear it with dresses. You know how Coco Chanel's sort of style was a bit masculine too when she wore, you know, her pants and everything. You can, this is so edgy in my opinion too. You could wear it with anything and it's not just a bag that's just designed for you know occasions to me this is an everyday bag and you know what i think it's a great travel bag too because it can sit flat it's probably fantastic for packing you can see me wearing it now i'm going to do some mod shots and insert them here it is a really good uh, crossbody bag as well. For reference, I am 164 centimeters tall. And this chain, what I do like about it, it is longer than the classic flap, like, you know, my medium larges and the small classic flap. So it is better crossbody. And yeah, you can just wear it, you know, double chained as well. It just looks so good, however, which way you wear it. So guys, if you were considering this bag, it is a bag that I highly recommend. I like that it's more understated because it doesn't have the CC lock as well. It's got all the features of a classic flap. You know, it's got the Mona Lisa pocket at the back. Um, oh, by the way, someone asked me, why is it called a Mona Lisa pocket? And I think it is called a Mona Lisa pocket because it resembles sort of the wry Mona Lisa smile that she has. Apparently, I'm not sure if you do know otherwise, do comment below and let me know. So that is my new pre-loved baby. I cannot be happier with this bag. I just think it is such a beautiful bag. And I think for me, the icing on the cake was knowing that I saved almost 46% off retail price. So if you were interested in buying pre-loved Chanel or other designer bags, I highly recommend that you check out Timeless Vogue. Go to Sandy's Instagram. I will leave her Instagram below and tell her that Mel sent you. You guys won't regret it. She has got such a good range. And what I find with her range is that it's just a huge variety and best of all her prices are really reasonable you just dm her on instagram and she gets back to you pretty quickly actually i do trust her so much that i'm a bit time poor at the moment and because i saw this deal and i couldn't resist i did look through my collection and i am putting a bag up for sale and it is my gorgeous chanel red boy bag so i'll insert a picture here it is in really good condition i think guys that i just went a little bit overboard with my Chanel boy bags. As you guys know, I have three. So in order to get this, I thought, no, I'm going to try be good. And if I purchase this, I'm going to sell one of my other bags. So if you were interested in that bag, Dandy has it for sale up on her Instagram. As I said, it is in really good condition and you're going to get it for 
a really good price. And the thing is that with all her items, she offers um, money back guarantee if the item, if you prove the item to be non-authentic. So that gives me a lot of peace of mind. And what's also great is that if there was an item that you were after and uh, you were on a little bit of a budget, she does offer lay-by terms, I think up to the maximum of 60 days. And I'm sorry to say, guys, it's, consignment is only for my Australian followers. So if you're in Australia and just say you wanted to sell one of your pre-loved designer bags, check out Sandy because, as I said, her consignment rates are really competitive. And for the rest of the world, all her bags, she does ship internationally. I know she has a big US clientele and I know a lot of my viewers are from US. So she does ship internationally, not just to the US, like Asia and everything for all the items that you do see on her page. So that is it guys. That is my reveal of my gorgeous Chanel reissue bag. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you liked this reveal, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would love to know, do you like the reissue more or do you like the classic flap more. Please comment below to let me know. Have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!